All right, so I'm Spencer Crandall. We're hanging out with the Nash News. Ooh. Dude, it's great to see you. Uh, you just broke into top 40? Is uh, this real? Well, uh, I don't know. I haven't checked the numbers lately. so This I don't is what wanna, I was I just told. This is what I was just told. Oh, my gosh. So if I did, that's amazing. That's so, incredible. Okay, tell me about um, Lil Drake. You're watching music videos. Who's the band? Who's the artist um, that makes you want to make music videos when you grow up? Uh, I mean, well, music videos, I mean, Brooks and Dunn, they have the best music Underrated. videos. Underrated ever man lost and found like all that oh they're great music videos uh well i mean more than anything watching elvis when i was a kid that made me want to play music you know but yeah brooks and dunn's music videos are hard to beat absolutely okay who's the artist at the end of your, at the end of the year spotify wrapped sneaky listen for you that people would be like really sneaky listen. like a lot well uh so i mean number one for me for the past like five years has been george Strait. i mean that's it's that's just hard not, to beat. That's not very sneaky. I he only has 60 it's number like, ones. Like, I think this year it was George, Allen, uh, I think Dwight Yoakam was in there. So maybe that's a little mm, underrated. One. Yeah, Dwight, Dwight Yoakam was in there for me this year. Uh, and Roger Miller. Roger Miller, I, I love, I mean, I get so inspired by listening to Roger and his songs. And just, uh, he's a great singer, man. About, about just songwriting. Roger is such a great singer. And his, his delivery and his pocket, I mean, he's just, he's the best. That's awesome. Okay. All genre, non-country collab of your dreams. Can't be country. Can't be country. It's got to be an all genre. Ooh. Maybe it's oh, a DJ. Man. Maybe it's hip hop. I'll give you a live or dead. Oh, live or dead. I mean, Elvis. Come on. I mean, yeah, this is that number one. And you Elvis. played Elvis. How was that experience? Uh, it was awesome. Yeah. I mean, it was, a, it was big blue suede shoes to fill, right? Yeah. But, you know, you just try to play them like as close to how he would have felt. You know, try to play him as a person, not as a caricature. That's what I try to do. And, and you know, it, it's just, I, it was a dream come true for me. I mean, I, I've been an Elvis fan since I was a kid. And so to really get to step into that and to meet a lot of his friends and get to learn from them and hang out with them and be in Memphis while we were filming that, that was special. That was Hell special. yeah, dude. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. I really yeah. appreciate you, man. Thank I'll you. see you around tonight. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Good to see you.